So here's a schematic, a live diagram that someone's made, and this is fully user configurable. You put it in edit mode and you can see that someone's very kindly laid this all out for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the total liquid out here. We're going to add it to our basket and we're going to take the total oil out and add it to our basket. Then I'm going to create an empty trend. And let's then add a new tag. We're going to add a calculation and I'll click build calc. So if you remember what we were trying to do here was a minus B divided by 0.8. So the first thing I need to do, let's do a division. Let's do B divided by 0.8. So we need to add a div and first tag is the oil rate. So we'll add that in there. We'll add an argument. We're going to divide it by 0.8. Then we'll add a containing operation, which will be a subtract. So there's the sub. I'm going to add an argument and we need to move that up. So we're going to take the there. That is the total liquid inlet. Let's save that and add it to our trend. So there we have the, the calculated water rate. Now I'm going to add that to my basket. For use later but what I can also do to make life easier is I can create an alias so if this is a calc that people might want to refer to often let's call it the LP sep water rate we are add so now if I just want to to someone else to use that calculation I can just search for it very quickly instead and we'll do that in a second so that's just got the water rate now the next thing we need to do is to find the oil in water rate. 